Suresh Lilac, I'm really excited to catch up with you here at Mobile World Congress in Las Vegas. And uh, before we kind of get into the partnership between Dell Technologies and NVIDIA, let's set the stage a little bit. We're kind of roughly at the midpoint of the 5G cycle. Operators are in a bit of a tricky spot. There's a lot of pressure to uh, streamline operations, realize some efficiencies there, and more effectively monetize the network. Uh, so Lilac, maybe help me understand how AI can help serve both of those purposes. Perfect, so first, thank you for having me. Uh, I'll say that this is a moment in history, right? We're in the pivotal moment for the telcos. And it's pivotal because you're seeing a convergence. Convergence of uh, the network infrastructure and the AI infrastructure coming together. And this gives the telco an opportunity to reclaim back some of this new economics that they have perhaps missed in other opportunities. And what those opportunities can give them. To your point, there could be benefits in creating new operating model, all based on AI. Improve their customer experience, improve how the network is operated. There is an opportunity to create totally new services that did not exist before. Think about what's the new voice message? What's the new text message that could be powered by AI? Those are new services that telcos can offer. Think about call summarization, uh, video summarization, and so forth. And then there is additional benefits or additional opportunity to totally offer new revenue streams and services that were never offered before. The example could be GPU as a service, AI as a service, all coming from sovereignty cloud capabilities. So bottom line, I think we're in a beautiful uh, situations and a beautiful time where that converges come to play. And then a really last point around this, we just announced another way to convert it where that same infrastructure, that same infrastructure that serves network can now serve AI at the same time. So exciting time for the telcos, exciting opportunity to be. So Suresh, um, I know Dell has done some uh, work to kind of understand the addressable market here. Can you maybe take us through what you see as the opportunity for Dell and NVIDIA to really uh, help CSPs as they undergo these network transformations? Yeah, first, thanks for having me as well. Um, great to partner with Lilac again. Uh, yeah, we've done a study, which is, uh, you know, the recent study we've done, the global AI and telecom market size today is about $2 billion, and it's expected to grow to $14.5 billion by 2033. So if you look at that, it's a 28.5% uh, CAGR year over year. Uh, you know, we also did another, uh, commissioned another study with uh, Meritalk, uh, you know, that interviewed uh, a lot of telco executives oh. across uh, globally. Uh, and 48% of the telco executives say that AI will be the most transformative technology in the next five years. Yet 68% of them say, you know, it's evolving so rapidly, so fast that they're, it's hard to keep up and they need help to be able to, you know, meet the needs of the customers. So when looking at all of this, Dell has now launched uh, in collaboration with NVIDIA an AI for telecom program that basically provides the CSPs an easy button uh, for them to be able to deploy, accelerate the AI deployments. Uh, for example, that, uh, you know, Lilac mentioned about the GPU as a service, uh, you know, there is a operator called Lintasarta, an Indonesian telecommunication and information technology solutions provider. Uh, they have launched a GPU Merdeka, what they call a GPU as a service. It's powered by AI infrastructure that's uh, with our Dell PowerEdge XC9680 servers and powerful NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, with that, they're offering their national businesses an, an ability to access AI capabilities and you know, it's custom tailored to meet the high-end compute uh, needs for their customers. So yeah, you referenced uh, Dell AI for Telecom program. Uh, I guess it was back in May here in Las Vegas when uh, Dell announced Dell AI factory with NVIDIA. And now more recently, we've got this sort of iteration of that uh, set of solutions for operators. So maybe just take us through, you know, what is the solution look like? What, what does NVIDIA bring? What does Dell bring? Sure, um, happy to. Uh, if you look at uh, what AI is bringing, you know, vast a set of benefits for the operators. It's becoming the uh, the driver for network cloud transformation. You know, it's it's a compelling driver for network cloud transformation. The reason why we want the network cloud transformation is because first step is to virtualize networks, make it software defined. So then you can actually, you know, infer all this data and out unlock all the outcomes for the operators, right? So as I said, you know, operators need an easy button. So what we are doing with the AI for telecom program, we are bringing pre-validated AI solutions with our broad set of ecosystem partners from core to edge, 
you know, that provides the operator that pre-validated solution we could deploy on-prem and support the customers so they could unlock real measurable benefits, real world outcomes in their network. Uh, one example, and I would, you know, we're working with a lot of ecosystem partners. One example, we're working with an ecosystem partner of Kinetica and a tier one operator. Uh, you know, we are doing a 5G core network troubleshooting use case. Uh, it's actually providing 83% productivity improvements for the operator because of the fact that we can actually now troubleshoot 10x faster than human, uh, human network engineers would do. And not only that, I mean, we've shown that with our services capabilities, we could reduce the infrastructure setup cost by 60%. And now the network operation engineers, right, the, we call them NOC engineers, they can converse to the network in, in plain English and ask questions, hey, you know, and then the tool, it's Gen AI power chatbots, would give them the insights that, which otherwise in their normal troubleshooting process, they got to go through vendor manuals, they got to go through protocols, they got to go through some textbooks, they got to... Look, call, the know, right call the right person. Call the right person. You know, get traffic from different devices and, and troubleshoot, which took months and now it's in hours. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. We have global operators now asking for multiple POCs across uh, with this partner. Yeah, what's the uh, NVIDIA side of that? I know it's it's not just GPUs, it's also a, a very robust uh, set of software solutions too, right? Absolutely, Sean. So if you, let's then maybe take a step back to simplify it. In order to do AI, you need four components. You need the data. You need the accelerated compute. You need the frameworks and the software to teach the model the new skills that you need, and you need the skills. What NVIDIA and Dell did with creating that AI factory, is basically packaging in a way that's easier for the telco. We took almost two components, almost three components out of that four, and made it easier for the telco to consume. And that easy button, really what it's doing for the telco is accelerating time to value. They don't need to worry about what's the right hardware. They don't need to worry about <clears throat> what's the right software. It's packaged in a way that we can now get into the door with the telco, bring over the exact use case, the exact value that they can deliver. We're talking about the specific ROI that they can associate with that investment. And we're teaching them how to use that very fast. And the beautiful thing, it's done without the need of them to change their data architecture. They don't need to worry, do I do it in the cloud? Do I do it on the prem? Where do I train? Where do I inference? It's a package, it's ready for them to use. The reference architect architecture give them everything they need in a box. We come over, we bring the application with that and it's portable. The NIMS, the software that comes with it, at the end of the day, the telcos can flexibly deploy it wherever they need to do. They can train it on-prem, inference in the cloud, and vice versa. Yeah, I think that's really the magic trick, isn't it? Is, is kind of hiding the, the technology and the complexity of it, making it easy to consume, and just associating it directly with a business outcome. And, um, Shiresh, you mentioned uh, Kinetica. That's just one of a, a large number of ecosystem partners you have. Uh, Synthify, Synthify, Amdocs, there's a lot of them. Yeah. And I, I think yeah. that's a, it's a really important thing to do is know when you need to bring in a partner to address a very specific thing. But how should we be thinking a little longer term about this relationship between Dell and NVIDIA? Absolutely. I mean, uh, we, me and Lilac met in Barcelona. We laid out the plans. Here we are, and we are actually providing real outcomes now for the operator, but from here on, we're going to start like you know, uh, you know, not just partners uh, to, to to limit, but we're also working with telecom operators like SK Telecom uh, by being able to you know collaborate on a mobile network operator AI platform that integrates the AI capabilities into their existing BSS systems, the billing support systems, that now can deliver unprecedented speeds and efficiency for customer service, customer experience, in you know, uh, you know that they could provide value added services that that Lilac talked about, all of that is being possible. So we are, we are also collaborating with operators like SK Telecom, who wants to lead in the space, and also we work with partners. And beyond this, you know, with NVIDIA, we are also working on a number of innovative uh, initiatives like AI RAN platforms they've announced. We are collaborating with them, you know, to now move this beyond the voice and text, you know, into uh, wireless uh, next gen, gen AI wireless services on your, on your handsets, right? You know, we want to unlock a lot of those value for our customers. And, and beyond that, I think, you know, going to the next Barcelona, I think will be a full circle where we're going to show multiple use cases, um, you know, powered on Dell AI, 
factory infrastructure to Lilac's point, you know, in a box that never used to be the case before. It used to be in hyperscaler clouds, but now it's going to come in a box, and you will see them live in events coming up from now through the rest of the year in, into Barcelona. How are you thinking about this longer term, Lilac? Uh, first of all, um, this partnership between Dell and NVIDIA proved its value, I think, from the, from the time we started it. You're seeing now the ecosystem activating, and you're seeing definitely the telco's adoption that comes with it. I think next step is how do we move and, and change the industry even further? Let's, let's stretch it some more. So first is how do we take a convergence that we talked earlier, really making that same infrastructure that's used for network and AI work together? We're partnering on that. So I think that will be a major change. We announced it with Timo. We'll see how that's going to progress further on. Um, for now, we're talking the world of text to text. But think about the power of text to video, video to text. Uh, think about looking at the tower and start doing pro proactive management of towers based on drawn videos and saying, hey, show me antennas where they have a higher risk corrosion. We could start doing those kind of things further on with multi-modality and, um, and that um, digital avatars or digital humans will come in as well in retail stores of the telcos, retail for other customers that telcos are serving. Uh, think about digital avatar and customer experience that is also becoming a new dynamic way for telcos to serve their customers. So there's much more to come. We're excited about the opportunity to stretch that industry further on uh, and taking that story to others. Excellent. Well, yeah, operators right now, they have a lot of challenges, but they also have a lot of opportunities. And I think what you all are doing with the Dell AI for Telecom program with NVIDIA just really fits a, a clear market need. So I appreciate you taking the time to fill us in on the work you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.